What's up you guys? Today I want to talk to you about something fun and that is all about how to stay more energized, be more productive, and live a more joyful, fulfilling life by focusing on the things that make you happy and then doing more of those things. So this has really been my big focus since the beginning of April. I said April was gonna be a big month for me all about stepping back, making time for self-care, and making time for fun and play. And I have been focusing on this a lot from different perspectives. Obviously, I am fascinated with, obsessed with happiness. I mean, that's the goal of life, right? To be happy. So I'm always studying positive psychology and just learning new things about how to be happy. So obviously, it's a no-brainer that doing things that make us happy is going to make us happier, right? But I've also been digging into this from the perspective of productivity and success and even from a money-making standpoint, from a financial standpoint, how to be more successful in your business and in your life. And the importance of fun and play and pleasure and joy and, you know, enjoyment in every day of our lives is so, so important and so correlated with productivity as well. I like to tell people this statistic that our brains are actually 39% more effective and more productive in a positive state versus neutral or negative, which totally makes sense because if you think of times where you're like really happy and loving life and feel really good, it's like solutions just fall out of the sky, everything seems so easy, things just seem to flow, it's very natural. I know I can get things done a lot faster when I'm in that state of mind and when I feel really happy and I'm taking time for myself and doing things that make me happy. So that's an important statistic that I like to share, 39% more productive in that positive state. And also I always like to point out to people, this is something good too, if you struggle with, oh, I don't have time for, for fun and play and self-care in my day, again, that hustle mentality that is really big, I think, in the US. If you look at top companies right now, like Google and Facebook, they have in their offices, they have game rooms, they have nap rooms, they make it a day-to-day -day kind of mandatory thing for their employees to have fun and have rest and nap during work. So again, there are so many studies that are really showing the, the positive correlation between doing things that make you happy and restore your brain power and let you recharge. I always say too, you wouldn't show up with your iPhone or laptop like not charged, you definitely would charge them. You don't expect them to work without plugging them in and charging the battery, right? So it's kind of like us as far as self-care, but also really, really focusing in on this idea of fun and play. So like I said, this was my focus right around the end of March. I was just feeling kind of like a lack of clarity. Like I always get a lot of ideas and I'm an ambitious person, but sometimes it's like so much that it just runs me down and can also feel like clouded. So I was feeling like that in March. I was not having the clarity that I wanted. And I was talking to one of my um, very good friends who's also kind of one of my business strategy coaches and I was talking about different ideas and then I was like, part of me just wants to like slow down and rest and like take a month to step back and she was like, do that. So I gave myself full permission to do that in April and also my um, homework was to start adding more fun into my life and I'm like, okay, step back, what's fun? I'm like, you know, it's Milwaukee besides grabbing drinks. Obviously we know I love that. I love my, my beer, my cocktail sales, my tequila. Um, so I'm like, okay, if I'm not hitting the bar, that can't be my only source of fun, right? So I started making a list, a running list for myself of how I truly experience fun, how I enjoy, um, experience joy when I feel happy, things that make me feel happy. And um, Gretchen Rubin, actually, she wrote The Happiness Project and her podcast is even called Happier. So she does all this amazing work and research around happiness and positive psychology. She calls these little luxuries. And another person who I listened to recently, again, to back it up, is Mel Robbins. She is one of the most best known female speakers in the entire world and has written some amazing books. So I'm listening to one of her audiobooks right now and she was also talking about this whole idea of we're always trying to like find our passion and she's like your passion is not something that you find it's not a place or a thing or a destination it's something that you just like flow with and follow and she's like follow what energizes you 
And that just makes so much sense when you think of this in terms of energy too. Like for me, certain workouts I absolutely love. I love going to Cycle Bar and taking spin class there. There's the lights and the music and the experience. I love it. I also love Pure Bar and those things leave me feeling really energized because I really enjoy them. Same with like a walk outside when it's sunny. Like, you know, I'm walking and moving my body, but it's actually so energizing. And if we really stop and notice our energy levels, when we're doing things that make us happy, or we're really inspired, then we have like limitless energy. We're unstoppable versus when we're drained, uh, you know, and feeling fatigued and lack of energy, it's usually because we're bored or we're doing something that we don't enjoy or like our life is monotonous and we don't feel like we're getting enough pleasure or restorative time or joy in our life. So we feel really this lack of energy. So it makes so much sense. And then again, energy is everything. When we're energetic, we're productive, we do way more, um, more successful, more creative, we're more kind and patient with the people we love. And life is just so much better, right? So if I haven't convinced you that happiness, play, pleasure, fun, all of these things are very, very important every single day, um, I don't know how I could convince you. I think that's, that's plenty of reasons why. Um, and one more thing before I kind of give you the homework or my advice on this. Um, I also have my clients do this around emotional eating. And I used to sometimes stress eat or eat when I felt sad or any, any different emotion that would cause me to turn to food. And again, it's because that a lot of times happens because you're not giving yourself what you really need and you're not inserting enough pleasure and joy and fun into your life throughout the day. So then it's like, all right, well, my only source of enjoyment is gonna be this box of cookies right now. Like, that's just what it is. And I see that come up a lot with emotional eating and I find that when we actually give ourselves fun and play and things that make us really happy, like that whole appeal of emotionally eating just kind of dissolves. Like it just, for me at least, it definitely did. And I always look at, I have clients ask themselves, when you're reaching for food to fill a, an emotional void, we know food never really does the trick, right? Usually we just end up eating a whole bag of chips or a box of cookies or a pint of ice cream and then we ate this thing and we still don't feel any better, right? So it doesn't really do the trick. So I always ask my clients to ask themselves, get really curious and just say, what am I really seeking in this moment? And what would do a better job of filling that void? And then I have them make lists that we call non-edible nourishment menus. And that would be my little piece of advice or takeaway or like homework activity, action step, whatever you wanna call it. That would be my um, action step from today's video to make lists of these things. So you can call it your non-edible nourishment menu. You can use that if you like it. Or um, little luxuries, again, is Gretchen Rubin. That's what she calls these things. Or you could just make it like your happy list, your joy list, your fun playlist, whatever it is. Um, but then start noticing the things that have you feeling really energized and have you really experiencing happiness and joy throughout the day and make a list of these things. So then you can turn to them whether you're having like you're just in a funky mood and you need something to help pull you out of it or again you're feeling really drained or just overwhelmed and you know you need to insert a little fun or play or joy into your day. So to share some with, um, with you some of mine, I have my little list in front of me and I'm keeping just this running list and constantly adding to it. But um, little things, like I said, I love working out certain types of workouts, that feeling of feeling really energized after a great workout, I love that. I love laughing with my husband and like watching funny, stupid shows with him. I love laughing with him. I love walking outside, um, buying fresh flowers. When I buy fresh flowers for myself and see them around the house, every time I see them, it just makes me happy. Um, meaningful conversations. I love grabbing lunch or sometimes just like hopping on a call with someone who I really like connect with. I love deep, meaningful conversations. Listening to my favorite music. Music is a big one for me. So sometimes even if I'm feeling a little drained and maybe I'm like between two clients, I will, <laughs> I'm totally guilty. I've turned on like Wham! and I'll just like dance around to like whatever songs for a couple minutes. Um, I also love listening to my favorite music in my car. Um, bonus points if it's nice out and sunny and I can roll the windows down and like sing in my car. That's definitely like a, a little luxury for me. 
Um, dancing is always good. So again, dancing, whether it's going out with friends or as simple as like dancing to one song really quick, like on a quick work break. Um, the perfect cup of coffee. If you know me, you know I love coffee and I probably have a couple cups every day. But you know, when it's just right, like it's just the perfect amount of cream and sweetness and yeah, the perfect cup of coffee. I give thanks for that a lot. Um, reading, I love to read and I especially love reading with no place to be, like no timer set and I can just like read and enjoy myself. Um, great dinner and cocktails. I'm a total foodie and I love my cocktails. So really just like a beautiful experience, great restaurant, like a little date night or dinner with girlfriends. Um, I have on here loading a jukebox. That's like one of my guilty pleasures. My husband, Scott and I do that a lot. <laughs> we like to force other people to listen to our music. Again, just my thing. I'm a total music person. Um, libraries. I love I love libraries, I love books, I want my own library someday. I love getting facials, massages, energy work. Um, I do love shopping too, I know very cliche, but even like little things, like I love buying a new lipstick or lip gloss, so little things. Um, yeah, and I could go on so many, so many things, but really again, these this is my running list, really taking note of like what do I love, what lights me up, what adds more joy into my day into my life. Um, I don't have any fur babies, but like that's a big one I know that brings a lot of joy into people's lives, spending time curling up with their fur baby or like a favorite blanket, just curling up with that when you need a little comfort and TLC and a little downtime to recharge. So really just getting curious about what lights you up and what nourishes your soul and makes you happy and makes you feel good and then just really note that as you do more of those things how much better you feel and how everything else in life is so much better like so much more energy again note your productivity levels and your creativity because i want to share personally that when i did this in april and my focus in april also was like to take care of myself as far as sleep like getting enough sleep and being really intentional about it Oh my goodness, I feel like my brain just started like poof, opening up and new things coming up, lots of new ideas. I got all the clarity I was looking for. I mean, as much clarity as you can ever have in, in one time in life, right? But yeah, it was just such a game changer. And like I said, I feel like my brain was working on a whole different level when I really stepped back and made time to take care of myself and focus on rest, self-care, play, and fun. So definite game changer try it out. I know you're going to love it. I'd love to hear from you what some of your little luxuries are or what some things you do, whether you have two minutes or two hours or a whole day. I would love to hear some ways that you uh, insert joy into every day. So I hope you love this as much as I do. Until next time.